Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to World of Horror. We're back. It's scary, it's spooky. In the last episode, Iwa freaking died, dude. And uh yeah, that that's 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 what happened. That's 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 what yesterday's episode was. Iwa freaking died. And so here we are, once again. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna play. We're, we're gonna play someone. I think it's gonna be Mimi. And what we're gonna do is we are going to just play Mimi, I suppose. If we get paranoid, we might go for like the ritual robe, ritual dagger thing to get like the sacrifice, but that's very specific. And so we probably won't do that. But a Mimi run is like slightly overdue. And obviously we shouldn't do Seventh Curse and whatnot. We'll, we'll just do World of Horror, and let's just do Timeline A, brother. Let's just do a normal run. Like, just a normal run, man. No running away. We're not a coward. Okay, we don't... We're, we're not a coward. We're officially not a coward. So here's the thing. Starting with the scalpel. The scalpel is okay. Like, it's not very good. There are much better weapons to use. And so what we can actually do is we can sell the scalpel. So Mimi kind of starts with two funds, which is what we're going to try out today. I, so here's the thing. I think that Mimi could be a monkey wrench user, because I think five is sort of like the, the place to start at if you want to power level it. Now, I don't know if we'll check that out today, but we do need to remember our second mystery. And then for stat checks, we have knowledge and dexterity. So top right, bottom left, basically. Um, knowledge is already there, so we just gotta get Dexterity up, and I'm gonna be real with you, Dexterity on Mimi, more likely than you think, because she, for some reason, gets the katana always. Uh, so anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the library notes and then use them precisely once. Okay, we'll use them twice, just because Absorb is an insult. Grow Teeth is also an insult. Which, which, that's true. Like, I, I, I don't think I need to tell you that that's true. Like, grow, both Absorb and Grow Teeth are an insult. It's like, what? You're gonna say that Oteru is here? You're gonna say that Oteru? Okay, Oteru is actually here. We could actually eat him, and we could actually sacrifice somebody with a dagger. But I think, do we have to be paranoid for that? Hold on, this is an alt-tab situation. This is a certified alt-tab situation. You go to the guide section in World of Horror, and then you, you go down to the, um... Well, you click top rated of all time, and then you get mad that your fan settings went up, even though that they're not supposed to, and so you toggle them between quiet and normal, because you know that it's not actually quiet, even though that it says it is. And then it just ramps right back up anyways. Even, okay, whatever, who cares? Doesn't matter. Now, where, where are the achievements? Here we go. World of, uh, World of Horror Achievements by Electric Wizard. That's a good guide. Paranoia Agent. Wait, that's the baseball bat. Uh, I'll, I'll scroll down. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Backstab a follower. Ah, okay. We need to we, we need to get paranoia. Uh, but let's see. Classy ritual. Sacrifice a follower with the ritual dagger equipped. So we just need the ritual dagger. All right, that's it. But I think there's another thing as well. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, but this is just, we need the Ritual Dagger, and we need a Light Source as well. So we need two items, which is a little bit difficult, but at the same time, it's probably not that bad. But there was another one where it's like, have the Ritual Dagger and then like the... Oh, that's the Fear Festival thing! Okay, I remember it now. I haven't seen it yet, I'm still scrolling down, but I remember it now. You have to... You have to, is it like, what is it, Perfect Disguise? Is that what it's called? I'm scrolling through the list here. Perfect Disguise, enter the Overgrown Factory. Where is it? It was here somewhere. Per enter the Overgrown Factory while wearing the Ritual. Okay, that's something completely different. So we just need to get a flashlight and a uh, Ritual Dagger, which uh, we'll go ahead, we'll go back here, and we'll get rid of the dog, open up the Occult Store, and get the Monument up, because why not? It's gonna be pretty helpful. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll get the money here. Go ahead and just wear a normal shirt because, you know, we're a normal person walking into a normal store. Uh, and there's nothing that could possibly be weird about it. And we're going to go with Kana first, obviously, because Kana's just good. And we'll go to the tree. 
And we're gonna have to... Cursed Signs is a little bit weird, but we're, we're gonna need to get our Ritual Dagger. Now, we're going exclusively for the achievement here, so if we have to re-roll to a point where we won't win the game, that's probably fine. This is a four funds boy. This is a four funds boy, I repeat. Uh, we're gonna not use the scalpel anyways. I think the Ritual Dagger is probably better than the scalpel because it has 5% less hit chance, but it's also just more accurate, so that's that's nice. So now we can either wait for 15 EXP or we can wait for... Actually, do we have to wait at all? We sell library notes, we go up to one, we get cursed again at the tree. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's not, but... It'll be, it'll be okay. For the for the purposes of this run, it'll be fine. Now, we just want a regular flashlight. Technically, we could have gotten the heavy-duty flashlight if we wanted to, but I wanted something that we could equip in slot B because I don't want to... One, I don't want to waste an inventory slot, and two, I want the, the combat stats. Well, not the combat stats, but the, the regular old stats here. So we, we won't do anything that'll threaten our reason for now, and we'll just vibe with Kana for a bit. Now, we could get a couple of people to help us out here if we wanted to, but our Doom's already getting up there, so I don't know, man. I, I, I do not know. This is an awful first enemy, like, I just want to say. We'll do it anyways, but we don't have uh, whatchamacallit yet, so... We'll regain... Yeah, we'll go to 8, 9. That should be fine. And then we'll just sever once. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's nice. Um, we'll go to the seaside once with Kana, because in case we get into trouble there, we, we want Kana to help out. Always help the Fisher Bros. Like, just never not. Like, uh, it, it's so much worse to just take minus 2 stamina than it is to, like, take minus 1, minus 1, right? So, I, I think that you almost universally... Like, unless the minus... Two stamina would, er, sorry. Unless the minus one reason from failing the strength check would kill you, you almost always want to help the Fisher Bros. Like, you get penalized more for not helping them. And if you have core strength, then they, they treat you to T. They're nice boys. So, you know, you, you want to you wanna help, you want to help them out. Kindness rewards kindness. The, you pay it forward, they'll pay it forward. This is awful. You know, we are in a backlog that I need to speed run, so this is pain, suffering, and misery even, but, you know, it is what it is. So, we're about to eat it here, for lack of a better word. We're gonna have to find a way to recover, but the, we've done the side quest, so that's 15 EXP in the bank pocket, and an extra 30, up to uh, around 80-ish, so that's nice. So what we can do is panic, because good lord, we're we're almost about to die. Because, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to save Kana, really. So we could take the, the Fear Festival recovery route, and that's probably what you want to do if you want to win. Uh, or we could just go straight for it, rest a million times, and then get it, guaranteed. Because we can go to the... Well, we'll do Fear Festival first, because we do need allies to, you know, hold the knife over, if you will. Although, remember, Kana is invulnerable, so you can just sacrifice Kana. Like, if we don't get an ally, then we can sacrifice Kana and they'll be fine, right? Like, it doesn't matter at all. I mean, we could yeet Kazumi if we wanted to as well. Also, isn't this just, like, the most relatable thing of all time? Like, you go on a vacation to, like, this spa resort, and all you do is hang out in your room. Right, like, that's... Like, I, I think that is what they would say is hashtag relatable. Dog. I'm not sacrificing... I am not blood ritualistically sacrificing a dog. We, we will... Uh, realistic... We will ritualistically sacrifice Kana, because they can take it. But, um, I guess we'll just, we'll, we'll rest one more time, go up to 36% doom, and then just pray that we live through this, because I wasn't expecting to just eat it in, uh, every single reason variety. So this is perception. I'd rather just take the doom, honestly, because if we fail the perception check, which we're probably not gonna fail, but if we fail it, it is minus reason, so we'll just search the tent, take stamina, 
We're, we're doing real preserving reason hours because we kind of need that. It's kind of important. So, this is awful. It is. It, tr it, it truly is. We're doing eight damage. Oh my god. Okay. And no, don't even dare ask me what that woman was wearing because I've said again, we are in the middle of the forest. There is no one around. So we, we can kill him next turn if we miss this, right? No, we want to do, we want to do this. So he's going to fly closer to us, but as long as we kill him this turn, he won't burn us. So that's fine. We take 2%, 3% doom. I, I wasn't really paying attention. So we, we, we take those, we do. So we need to get dexterity, but at the same time, it's like folklore studies go burr, I think. Yeah, folklore studies go burr, and then plus reason, because I don't want to die. So, this is timeline A, by the way. We we could have gotten timeline B, we could have gotten ending B here if we wanted to, which we haven't gotten ending B here yet, but getting ending B is like minus two stamina plus doom. So I think we'd rather just, we, we just take these, because we do want to win, and if we took ending B, we probably wouldn't. So it's kind of, uh, a difficult dance. Now, oh no, the dog who we already sent away is gone. Whatever shall we do? And I think we'll take Reason here. Actually, no, we'll take EXP. We're behind. Mystery 3, we're level 2. That's, that's very unfortunate. So we'll just go for the achievement right now. I, I think we will. Yeah, I think we will. Actually, I mean, these two are literally free. So, like, usually you'd probably want to save this for last because it's the most dangerous, but... It's also like we have the achievement here, so. And we need to go to the seaside, remember, because I do not want to sit there increasing it by one increment over and over again so that we can pretend that we're going to figure out how to wake up Oteru. We're not just going to randomly get lucky. So, you know, I, we really need something like first aid. We really need something like, you know, we, we just need first aid. Like, that would be very nice. I, I think that, that, that it'd come in handy a lot, honestly. So here's the thing. This says minus two reason, but it's actually minus stamina if you fail it. But we take those anyways. So how do we heal? Well, like, what, what's the strat here? Do we have fetid fumes? I don't think we do. No, we don't. So I think we just rest, like, a couple times, which is a little bit awkward because we're going to waste uh, some stamina. But And we are upping our doom a lot. But the purpose here is not to win the purpose is to get the achievement and winning is a bonus because like an, an achievement is permanent a, a win is once so speaking of um things th this is actually not that bad minus one to all so yeah yeah we can we can take that that's fine yeah there's nothing wrong with that now i don't think we'll be able to brace but we could we dodge no 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 yeah no we, we there's no way we can do both and we can't we can't leave an offering either so i think what we'll do is we'll do this once and then let's recover some reason if that's okay if that's okay with you it's okay with me brother so we'll go up to to nine nine which is that's that's fine you know i'm, I'm a little bit surprised you know rumu ghost is usually a nightmare but it wasn't that bad this time it's almost like we had like a million uh, masafumis making up for the what they've put us through previously So I think what we can do, I mean, fast learner is just so bad. Like, for example, let's say that we've had it in the last fight, we would have gotten three EXP. Like that's that's all that's awful. Like that's so bad because it it gives you one point of experience for every point of damage you take. So actually, no, we we would have gotten six EXP. Let let's be reasonable here because it's one to all. Uh, we're. We're never going back to the forest ever again, so we might as well just take art knowledge, because I think we do have to go... Do we have to go to the school? No, I don't think we do, because it's, it's, um, ramen and, uh, ramen and sailors, right? So none of these really matter except for stat checks, so we'll go ahead and get art knowledge, just because it'll make our life slightly easier. We'll make our knowledge a little bit better just so that we can have better combat. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. We don't want uh, minus one, minus one to our decks and perception. I mean, that's great. Burning? 
uh, burning books to, to lower the, the impending doom of the world. You love to see it. So this is where we get the katana, and then it's like, oh, dude, why weren't we power leveling? Yeah, I think we'll do this. I think we'll just eat it. I think we'll just eat the minus stamina, because I don't think we'll die. The threat level is low. Or, the, no, the threat level is safe. Right here, you can see it. The threat level is safe. So we would have to get three stamina cadavers in a row, which, considering we don't have Ithutu, I think is borderline impossible. Like, it could happen. Well, not anymore, but it could. Okay, hold on. Okay, we, we, we can do, we, we can have some fun here. 70, 60. We, we can have some fun here. We, 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 we have fun here. We, we have a little goof, a gaff, and a laugh. Do we have a sewing kit? I don't think we do. We had a sewing kit on the last episode. So, literally impossible for us to die. And we, okay, so what's our, what's our hertz here? 415. Is that the default? Is that literally just the default? No, it's not. Well, if we were randomly increasing it by one increment and returning to the main corridor, we, we would have been, we would have gotten pretty lucky. So anyways, what we've got here is, um, goodbye, Kana. And by that, I mean Kana's completely fine. Look. They're good. Ha -ha Kana, after being sacrificed to Oteru, how do you feel? D did you hear that? Well, yes, I did, Kana. It was it was the knife going into, it it was the knife going into your, your flesh. It, it was you being sacrificed to Oteru so that he wouldn't destroy the world. Thank you, Kana. Very cool. Kana's Kana's great. Right, like like Kana is willing to be sacrificed to an eldritch god, just so that the world won't end. And Oteru is so touched by that that Oteru is like, all right, I'm gonna head out. So, you love to see it. And then we just burn the house down so nobody will ever... <laughs> we, uh, we hashtag burn it all down so nobody will ever wake Oteru up again. And then this, this doesn't matter at all. Like, this, this virtually has no... Th like, these mysteries, when it's just click through until they end and there's no, there's nothing at the end. Like, we're, we're literally just clicking at this point. Like, that's sad but true. And that's one of the reasons why I, I, I like ending or timeline B a lot more, is because there's a lot more to do, and there's a lot more to account for. This is awful, by the way. <laughs> Our brace is so bad, dude. Can can we just get like something a little bit reasonable here? Like, can can we just can we just get like can we just guarantee ten damage? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, I'll take it then. But yeah, I just find timeline B more interesting because with these mysteries, it's literally like it doesn't mean anything. Like they're short, and there's not really much to them. Well, that's disingenuous though because obviously there's a creepy story to all of them. But the creepy story kind of lost its effect like you know 350 episodes ago. So to me, they're just short and sweet mysteries that they're fun to read. True. But they, they don't really, from a gameplay perspective, they don't, uh, what's the word? They don't spark joy. Now, we could get ending A if we wanted to level up, which I think we do. That's unfortunate. That, that's really unfortunate. We hate to see this. Our combat's just bad. You know, like, our with the panic, our combat is just kind of, like, uh, even without panic, our combat would still be bad. Uh, so we are coward. We wish to run, but we can't. So how do we get out of this one? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, it's called... Wasting... F wasting three turns? And then killing him with desperation. That that's, that's what this is called. Wasting three turns and then killing him with desperation. And it's not wasting turns. We're, we're getting him in desperation range. Because we're... But we're gonna have to throw the branch, probably. Because if we look at this, right, like what we've got here. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna throw the branch, definitely. Because we won't be able to. Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. So we could do 90, I mean, we could do 90, 80, that's true. 
Uh, or we could do guaranteed 90. So I hate leaving it suspenseful like this, but thank God we thank God we got through that. So first aid, finally. Uh, after 18 million years, we've obtained it. And we're gonna go ahead and take reason here because I don't want to die. I, I think that for the purposes of like, I mean, we, we can't discard the burnt notes and we don't want to get rid of the flashlight because it helps us out with skill checks. And the lighthouse, I think? Question mark? This was low. This was safe, right? Yeah, it was safe. Okay, we're good. So so we don't even have to worry about this. Like, this is, again, timeline A. So we just click. Which is a little bit, like, again, it's a little bit weird, but... We still get the 30 EXP. We could have traded the flashlight and the black hair in for, you know, more, but... I think what we'd rather do is just get, like, a sewing kit and then have some fun, right? I think that would be nice. Can we do that? We can nail one more down. Get this. Oh, yeah, the bite's never gonna proc, by the way. If the bite hasn't proc'd already, it's not gonna proc. Uh, so we, we'll go to the hospital. We'll go, ahead, we'll go here. We'll get the sewing kit. Use the black hair, and then we're good to go. We actually might want to lose, like, one more reason. Or stamina, I should say. Uh, so that we can enter desperation range. Just, just as a, just as a thought. And this is awful, because it's still 60% chance to hit. Like, that's so bad, dude. Like, we can't even get it up to an 80 with the brace. That's so bad. So, we go here. We have desperation unlocked. And uh, then what we do here is we guarantee 12, he goes down to 14, that's not good enough. We take the 90, okay. We'll take the 90, that's fine. I mean, if we miss, we basically lose uh, because that's just really bad. Like, there, like, there's not much more that I can say than that's awful because now we have to go down to one stick. <laughs> Now we have to go down to one stamina, which I don't think it's possible for us to recover from. Because, well, we, and we might even die here. Like, I want to make that clear. We, we could definitely die here. Hopefully we don't, but we could. We, we missed a couple 90% chances. Man, how the tides turn. <laughs> how the turntables, brother. So do we have fetid fumes? Do we have fetid fumes? I don't think we do. We have contaminated water riots. So we do this so that we don't die, right? Because the most we can take is two. And this is climbing up, I am aware. Uh, what we're gonna have to do. That's fine-ish. We'll go to the monument now. Don't require stamina. That's good, that's good. We'll sell the patina ring, because literally who cares about that? And what we want is hot bath is just doom right but we got to take it because there's there's no way that we could so this is still not dangerous so we can only take two stamina here from an event now from an enemy that's a little bit different now we're the doom's going up here we're a little bit concerned we healed a little bit we're close to the end but we need to be a little bit careful the, I don't really remember what our second mystery was. I'm pretty sure it was Fear Festival. Yeah, no, it was Fear Festival because we wanted to... We we did in the... I'm pretty sure it was. We, we should be okay. That's all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got we got them. Okay, so we can't... Well, we could. We could die here. So what we'll do is we'll equip the Gruesome Totem and then uh, we're going to go rest at home for a bit. So... Yeah, that, that's nice. And then we go... We don't have holes, right? We don't have holes? Okay, good. So we should be able to... We, this should be fine. Like, things that could end our career... This right here. This, this right here could end us very easily. So here's what we do. We throw this, and we throw this. I, I actually hold on. We'll, we'll hold on to that for a moment. Just for a moment. Well, we'll see what it is that we do here. We had all summer to figure it out. Thank God we, thank God we rested. That's so good. 
Okay, so Miku, like, the good thing about Miku is that she has an awful power stat, so... We can get a little bit cheeky here if we wanted to. And potentially, like, do really well. No, not at all. We, we, need to, we need this one more time. But if Miku throws the Molotov and we miss, we're dead. So we gotta brace. We, we gotta brace, man. We gotta brace. Yeah, you wanna get really cheeky. We have to hit this. Thank God for that. Okay. So we, we should be able to guarantee that Miku's dead. Show me what you got, loser. Yeah, that's her taunting text for ruining your whole career. Okay, so let's see what we got here. It's Fear Festival. The second mystery, I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, leave the lighthouse, man. I'm scared. Okay, so second mystery is like 99% Fear Festival. Um, Takashi, and then we're taking minus three stamina. So we're taking minus three stamina in the course of the lighthouse. So theoretically, we're good. And by theoretically, I mean, yeah, we, we're, we're good. Uh, pour one out for the patina ring. It was never going to happen. Um, none of this matters, so we'll just take charisma for fun, and then uh, we'll take strength, I, I guess. For the for the for the brace or no? Let's let's just we're not gonna get desperation because the first one is the. Actually, are we gonna get desperation? Is the first one the dex check? His desperation would be kind of nice against Takashi, but I, I don't think it matters. Please, brother, let me out. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, so the second miss. So we, we weren't going to get Desperation anyway, so we're good. We, we've done it. Even if we fail this, it doesn't matter. We don't have Branded, and even if we do... I haven't been back to the house yet to get it. I haven't been back to the house yet to get the key. Okay, we're, we're, we, we've done it now. We've done it now. <laughs> I was just like, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> it took me 80% Doom to get the first key. I can't believe it. Like, let me in. Let me in. But yeah, no, we're... We, we do be good, though. Yeah, because the first thing... Oh, yeah, no, it was Fear Festival, for sure. Because I remember that, like, the third mystery... The final mystery... Or the fourth mystery, I should say, was Sailors. The third mystery was Household Hell, and the first one was Kana, so... They, they say it be that way sometimes, but lately it be that way all the time. And so we'll, we'll just do this, I think. Like that's probably the way to the way to do it is uh, this and this because get dabbed on, and so that's another. What's actually kind of crazy is that even without the gruesome totem, we would still be rel we would be okay because we'd be at eighty five percent doom right now. So yeah, without the gruesome totem, we're at we're at ninety six percent doom. So, so we win this. That's, that's really nice. That's really nice. I'm very happy about that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name's in Web Weaver. I hope you're all having a good one. I hope you're all staying safe out there. And we... Did we unlock a new achievement? Yeah, we did. We, we sacrificed Kana at the altar. <laughs> I, I still remember the first time we figured that out. I wanted to demonstrate it, and I forgot that you got minus three reason from it. And so it was like, Kana's immune to the ritual. I die. Oh, that was great. But we're, we're climbing up there. We got uh, we got seven more achievements to go before we've, we've conquered the game once again. Two of those achievements are the things, the events, you know what they are. And then, you know, we've got We Don't Need Eyes, uh, our Yashiro unlock. Yeah, we're, we're waiting for our Yagathag unlock and our Yashiro unlock. And then enter the Overgrown Factory, which really we just need a robe because you can get the Kurakosa mask guaranteed from Fear Festival. And then as Miku take a hostage. So we'll try to get some more achievements in the next couple of episodes. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Webweaver. I'll see you on the next episode. I hope you're all staying safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.